Now that was actually a really, really solid all-around performance for the Raptors as they beat the Portland Trail Blazers 99-85. And this game was mainly decided in that second quarter where for the first, well, for the entire quarter except for the last 30 seconds, the Portland Trail Blazers did not knock down a field goal at all. And they only had four points up to that point, four free throws from uh, Damian Lillard. They ended up with six points in that second quarter. Raptors had 25, and that's where the Raptors really took hold. Their defense was unbelievable. Obviously, 25 is a solid number. Your offense was doing what they had to do. And just a, just a great, great, great defensive game for the Raptors in this in this one to come away with the win. Now, they only shoot 45%. However, they hold Portland to 39%. The Raptors did shoot 33% from three, so a little bit better than, what I guess, what we're used to. And uh, Portland shoots 33% as well. Both teams, who are very run-and-gun fire offense, both teams are under 100 points in this game. And uh, big thing. You know, we came into this game, we obviously didn't have JV, we didn't have Serge Ibaka for this game, so Lucas Nogueira, Jakob Pertl, Pascal Siakam, those were guys that were going to have to be big in this game, and man, were, were they ever. 47-38 rebounds, Raptors win that one, and Portland's a very good rebounding ball club, and when you find a way to do that without JV and Serge Ibaka... The Raptors did a fantastic job in this game. Also, 17 assists in the game. But, I mean, you scored under 100 points, so 17 assists ain't that shabby. They only had 14. We had 10 steals to their five, nine blocks for the Raptors, and only nine turnovers. I think that's a big thing for this team. Keeping those turnovers to a minimum, they did in this game, and they came away with a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful W. I mean... You know, Norm, we saw a couple, some really, really good things in this game. We saw a little bit of Pascal Siakam, 6 points, 5 boards. You know, he was okay, 3 of 6 shooting. He was great, and he was great on the defensive end as well. I was really impressed with Siakam today, again. Norman Powell, we've been talking about him lately. He really hasn't looked comfortable taking shots, but, and he didn't look good early. But I think it was in the second half, he knocked down 1-3, missed 1, came back with another 3. Then, beautiful drive, nice lay-in. He ended up with eight points, so those two threes in the lay-in. And uh, eight points, three boards, uh, three of nine shooting. But those three were kind of in the later half of the game. I was, hopefully that's maybe more to come from Norman Powell. Uh, but the big story in this game, Lucas Nogueira. Now, he's missed the last couple games. And obviously with Serge out, you needed Lucas Nogueira to step up and be big. And man, was he huge. 17 points, career high. Seven boards, a couple assists, two steals, five blocks, a career high. And he was great. Seven of eight shooting. I mean, do I say seven of eight dunking maybe? I mean, the amount of lobs he was getting, but they were high lobs, but he was getting up there because no one's going to get that except for Lucas. And he gets there and he was just a great, great presence in the game. You know, coming up huge, was there when the Raptors needed him. He was great. And Kyle Lowry, um, as much as we were talking in the last game, shot wasn't falling, but he was doing other things to help. Today, uh, his shot was a little bit better, not, again, Kyle Lowry-esque. However, what we did see, 6 of 14 shooting 40, just under 43%, 4 of 4 from the line, and 3 of 6, 50% from 3 for Kyle Lowry. Very good to see. 19 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, another well, a double-double for Kyle, but not... Not the double double we're used to in 10 assists. No, 10 boards and 6 assists along with a steal as well. Kyle Lowry was great in this game. And DeMar DeRozan, man, he started out hot for this team. In the first three minutes, he got in double figures. He was unbelievable. 25 points, 4 boards, 4 assists, and it ended up shooting 10 of 20, uh, 5 of 7 from the line as well. Uh, I thought he was great. OG Ananobi, you know, he only had four points and four rebounds in this game. But the, just just the grind of this kid. I mean, the 20-year-old kid. And we're watching him be grimy. But we saw late in the game all over Evan Turner to get that jump ball and then wins the, wins the jump ball. The, the composure. I mean, he looks so calm out there. 
He's 20 years old. He only had four points in the game, but the way he impacted this team defensively, it was fantastic. DeLon Wright, again, seven points, five boards. Good to see him knock down a three. Only his second mate three of the year. Uh, C.J. Miles knocked down, I think it was, what, two, th- no, he knocked down one three. Didn't get a lot of time, only 18 minutes. Jakob Pertl in his limited 18 minutes, six points, five boards. I thought he was fantastic. Bottom line, the whole team, Looked really solid defensively almost the entire game. Look, you can only do so much against Lillard and McCollum. Those are their two guys, you know. And if you can find a way to contain them, you're okay. You'll you'll do well. Now, Damian Lillard is a freak of nature. He's unbelievable. He ended up with 36 points in this game. But you held C.J. McCollum to only 16 points on 5 of 16 shooting. You know, and from a lot of this game, he was on the bench. Not a lot of this game, but for the big parts down the stretch. And the, to start the fourth quarter, Lillard's on the court. He's on the bench. You know, Lillard play, put it into perspective. Lillard played 41. He played 32. It tells you the way he was playing. Wasn't all that great. The Raptors did a good job on him. The Raptors did a good job on everybody. The help defense, the offensive boards, the, the getting your defensive rebounds, not letting them cr- cr- uh, crash the glass. The Raptors did a great job today. Just being a really pesky team and being a good all-around team. Your All-Stars were your All-Stars. Kyle and DeMar were your studs. Your role players, pretty much the rest of the team because you didn't have uh, Ibaka and JV. They all chipped in. They were all fantastic. And that is a team win to put the Raptors 4-2 and two on the season. And now 2-2 two and two on the road trip. That was a win that we got to look back at and say that was a full-on gorgeous performance. And if we see games like that the rest of the way, we <laughs> things might look very, very good. Now, next up for the Raptors. It's not going to get any easier. You still got two more games on this road trip. You've, you've done okay so far. You're you know you're two and two on the trip, but now you go play in Denver at nine o'clock. It's never easy playing in Denver. It's the mile high city. The altitude's a mess. It's not going to be easy. The Raptors don't usually have a good time there. However, I think the Raptors can't. I mean, if they play like the way, they, if they play like this against Denver, they have a good chance. Now, will it happen? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see. It's Wednesday night, like I said, nine o'clock tip off, and um, I really want to see this team do well against Denver because, like, like I said, they don't usually do. All that well against the Nuggets. It's, it's weird. No matter what the record is, the Raptors find a way to make this team a pesky team. Now, same with the Portland Trailblazers. But they're usually Portland's a decent team. They were 4-2 and two coming into this game. We were 3-2. and two. We are, well, they're 4-3. and three. We're 4-2. and two. Great game by the Raps nonetheless. Let's enjoy this win for what it is. Let's enjoy it tomorrow. And then when Wednesday hits, let's focus on Denver, right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed this game because it was great. And if I miss any great highlights that you guys uh, want, I mean, DeLon Wright's a little step through. Well, where'd she go kind of thing. He was great there. I, I, let me know if I missed anything because there was a ton of great things in this game. And uh, we'll talk to you guys shortly, Leafs Edition, as they're playing the San Jose Sharks currently in second intermission, 1-1 tie. And we'll also talk to you guys, Raptors Edition, like we just said, Raptors, Nuggets, Wednesday night, 9 o'clock tip-off, much er- well, an hour earlier than today. I'll take it. Talk to you guys then.